Isang mapagpalang araw po ng linggo. Today is uh, March 13, 2022. Shout out po sa lahat ng mga kapatiran sa pananampalataya, lalo na po sa mga kapatiran natin sa Bacolod East Side Church of Christ, Paranas Church of Christ in Western Samar, and City Church of Christ Talisay, and all Churches of Christ, Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao. Sa araw po na ito, ipagpatuloy po natin ang ating pag-aaral tungkol po sa bagong series, Tough Questions, Biblical Answers. Uh, last Sunday po, ang ating katanungan, Tough Question is, If we believe, why do we doubt? Sa araw po na ito, ang ating katanungan ay, ang Tough Questions po natin, Biblical Answers is, ay ganito po, Is Jesus really the only way to heaven? Okay? At ayon po sa John 14.6, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Yes, Jesus is the only way to heaven, Brad Robert Discutido. Ang exclusive statement na ito, maaring magkaroon ng uh, mag-confuse, mag-surprise, or even offend sa ibang mga religious group, ngunit totoo po ito. Ang turo po ng Biblia, mga kapatid, mga kaibigan, is that uh, no other way to salvation than through Jesus Christ. Si Jesus mismo ang may sabi dyan sa John 14.6 that I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Hindi po sinabi dito ni Jesus that He is one of the ways. Sabi niya, I am the way, not one of the ways. At uh, ang, ang katuruan po ito, wala na pong ibang persona, tandaan po natin, wala na pong ibang persona regardless of reputation, regardless of achievement, brother Drexel Develos and sister Vicky, regardless of special knowledge or regardless of personal wholeness ang maaaring makapalap, makalapit sa makalumapit sa Panginoong o sa Diyos Ama except through Jesus Christ. So, maraming mga dahilan o reasons na si Jesus is the only way to heaven. Si Jesus po was chosen by God to be the Savior of the world. 1 Peter 2 verse 4. Si Jesus din in, is the, uh, ang the only one na mubaba, bumaba mula sa kalangitan, brother uh, Ambit Bakmutan, uh, bumaba mula sa langit at bumalik doon sa uh, bumaba mula sa langit papuntang lupa at bumalik doon sa kalangitan. John 3 13. At si Jesus lamang po ang the only person who to have lived a perfect human life according sa Hebrews 4.15. And Jesus is the only sacrifice for our sins according to 1 John chapter 2, verse 2 at saka Hebrews 10.26. So another thing, si Jesus lamang po ang, full, ang nag-fulfill ng law and the prophets Matthew 5:17 at siya lamang po mga kapatid mga kaibigan ang kaisa-isang persona to have conquered death forever Hebrews chapter 2 verses 14 to 15 at si Jesus lamang po ang the only mediator between God and man 1 Timothy chapter 2 verse 5 si Jesus lamang ang kaisa-isang tao whom God has exalted to the highest place according sa Philippians chapter 2 verse 1 si Romel Paredes and uh, Sister Jo Paredes napakaraming beses maliban sa John 14:6 uh, brother Paul John Patrata and Sister Elmi Don napakaraming mga beses maliban sa John 14:6 na sinabi ni Jesus na siya mismo is the only way to heaven ipirinisenta mismo ng ating Panginoong Iso Kristo ang kanyang sarili as the object of faith ayon pa sa Matthew 7:21 to 27. So sinabi niya na ang kanyang mga salita ay buhay John 6:63. Ipinangako ni Jesus that those brother uh, Aris Sadya uh, Neil uh, ipinangako niya that those who believe in him will have eternal life ayon sa John chapter 3 verses 14 to 15. Siya ang Pintuan siya ang gate of the ship according sa John 10, 7. At siya po ang tinatawag na the bread of life, John 6:35 At ang resurrection, John 11:25 And no one else can rightly claim these titles. Kaya nga, 
ang mga preachings ng mga apostles, mga kapatid, nakafocus po sa death and burial and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Noong si Peter ay nagsalita sa harapan ng mga Sanhedrin, malinaw na malinaw na he proclaimed Jesus as the only way to heaven dahil sinabi po niya sa Acts 4 verse 12, Salvation is found in no one else. For there is no other name under heaven given to mankind by which we must be saved. Si Pablo, speaking to the synagogue in Antioch, ipaniliwanag po ni Apostle Paul ng malinaw na malinaw na si Jesus ay the Savior o tagapagligtas. Sabi niya sa Acts 13, verse 38 to 39, ang sabi po ni Apostle Paul, I want you to know that through Jesus, the forgiveness of your sins is proclaimed to you. Through Him, everyone who believes is set free from every sin. Yan po ang ang sinabi sa Acts 13. So si Apostle John sa kanya mga sulat sa mga iglesia noong unang siglo, mga kapatid, specifies the name of Christ as the basis of our forgiveness. Sabi niya sa 1 John 2.12, I am writing to you, dear children, because your sins are have been forgive, forgiven on account of His name. So, wala na talagang ibang persona ang maaaring magbigay ng forgiveness sa ating mga kasalanan. So, ang uh, buhay na walang hanggan or eternal life in heaven is made possible. Brother uh, Richard Rubles at Sister Marites is, uh, is uh, being possible only through Christ. So, si Jesus po ay nananalangin. Ayon sa John 17.3, sabi niya, Now this is eternal life that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. So, to receive God's free gift of salvation, we must look to Jesus and Jesus alone. Kailangan manalig tayo sa Kanya, maninimpalataya tayo sa Kanya, sa Kanyang death on the cross bilang kabayaran sa ating mga kasalanan, and in His resurrection, ayon sa Romans 3.22, this righteousness is from God, comes through faith in Jesus Christ to all who believe. Yan po. So sa isang punto sa ministry ni Jesus, mga kapatid at mga kaibigan, maraming mga tao sa crowd ang tumalikod kay Hiso Kristo at umalis. Umalis sila sa paniniwalang makakasumpong, makakakita pa sila ng ibang tagapagligtas. Kaya tinanong ni Jesus itong 12 o itong 12 apostles, sabi niya, Do you want to go away as well? John 6.67 At sobra po sa tama ang kasagutan ni Apostle Peter nang sinabi niya, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life and we have believed and have come to know that you are the Holy One of God. John 6, chapter 6, verses 68 to 69. So napakaraming mga religions ang nagkiklaim mga kapatid that they alone hold the key to knowing God. At ang mga major religions na ito believe that their faith is the only correct one. Bilang mga Christians, we would like to or we would make the same claim about our faith. We would point to John 14:6 where Jesus said, "I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me." So, however, how can we defend this claim? What sets Jesus apart from the founders of other religions? Well, is summarize po natin ang mga reasons why Jesus is the only way to God. Number one, na summary, is because He alone was both God and man. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God in John chapter 1, verse 1. Ayon sa mga words na ito, John opened his gospel and introduces uh, readers to Jesus Christ na sinabi niya si Jesus is the Word. Later, sa pariyong chapter, sinabi din ni John the Beloved in the Word became flesh, and dwelt among us as we beheld His glory in John 1.14. So si Jesus mismo nag-claim, Brother Drexel, Sister Vicky, that uh, na siya po ay Diyos, no? ang sinabi niya, I and my Father are one, di ba? Brother Arman Bureros and Sister Leia, uh, thank you pala sa CIC, sa pagtulong kay John D. Um, sabi niya sa John 10.30, at doon din sa sinabi niya sa Isaiah 9.6, that Jesus was called the everlasting Father po ang tawag sa Kanya. So ang mga religious leader, Sister Ruth and Brother Andrew, noong kapanahunan po ni Kristo, recognizes deity or claim to deity and 
rejected it. Inakusahan nila si Jesus, tandaan po natin ito, sa harapan mismo ni Ponzo Pilato at sinabing, We have a law and according to our law, he ought to die because he made himself the son of God. John 19 verse 7. However, kapag siya sa atin po natin ang mga claims of other religious uh, or other religions, matutuklasan po natin, Brother Ruel, who you hear, that no other human being claimed to be God. Diba, Sir Tio Bujos? Si Jesus alone ang gumawa ng claim na ito. As Christians, we believe that Jesus Christ is truly God and His miracles, His authoritative teaching, and His resurrection validate this claim. So, the second reason sa ating summary why Jesus is the only way to God because He was sinless sacrifice. Alam na po natin ito na si Jesus Pro ay walang kasalanan from the very beginning until the end of His ministry. And noong 33 years old pa lamang siya, Jesus died a horrible death on a cross to pay for the sins of all mankind. Kaya itinuro po ito ng Bible kapag tayo ay mag-believe, magsisi at magpabautismo for forgiveness, we can be saved, we can be forgiven, and we can be adopted into God's family. So habang ang iba mga religion also believe in the concept of personal sin, they reject Christ as the Messiah who died for the sins of mankind's halip. They believe that individuals must earn their salvation by good works dahil po uh, sabi po rito uh, by good works and adherence to laws. So ang ano po, ang Christianity ating makikita rito na it teaches that faith in Christ and His grace is required for salvation. So the Apostle Paul wrote that for God by grace you have been saved through faith. So at our church, uh, we are so thankful that Jesus paid for our sin. In the last po mga kapatid, the summary or reason why Jesus is the only way because He is the only one with an empty tomb. Si Jesus lang po ang, ang mayroong libingan na walang laman. Kapag tayo ay pumunta doon po sa tinatawag nila na Green Dome in Medina, uh, Me, Me, Medina, Saudi Arabia, you can visit Muhammad's tomb. Kaya, nandun. Kapag pumunta po kayo ng China, mga kapatid, at pumunta kayo sa Jinig Cemetery, makikita po ninyo doon ang remains ni Confucius. Ngunit kapag tayo po ay bumisita doon sa garden tomb outside Jerusalem, wala na pong makikita ang ataol doon at walang kalansay doon dahil si Jesus wala roon. You won't see any urn or ashes or a marble headstone. Sa halip, ang makikita mo ang empty tomb. So he is not here for he is risen, he said. Come see the place where the Lord lay. The angel told the women of resurrection morning in Matthew 28 verse 6. So mga kapatid, why did Jesus rise from the dead? Ang kanyang resurrection nag-demonstrate that He is God and that He, all, he has ultimate uh, uh, power over death at ito po ay nabibigay sa atin ng assurance that someday all who believe in Him will rise again. So is Jesus the only way to God? Absolutely, He is the only way to God. Kaya nga, patunayan natin that He is the only way to God, iniwan niya sa atin ang communion. Sabi ni Jesus, at sabi ni Apostle Paul sa mga Christians sa Corinth, For I received from the Lord what I also passed on to you. The night Jesus betrayed, He took bread. When He had given thanks, He broke it and said, Take it, this is my body which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. After supper, He took the cup saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. For whenever you eat this bread, and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until He comes. Mga kapatid, do you believe that Jesus is the only way to God? May we all share the faith of the apostles that eternal life resides only in Jesus Christ. So have you made that decision for Christ, for what you have uh, heard from this message? Uh, sana po, gawin natin ito. Shall we pray? Thank you, Father, for the free gift of salvation through Jesus Christ, your only begotten Son. And thank you for the simple truth that salvation is found in no other person, in no other name, for there is no other person or name given under heaven whereby we must be saved. How we praise you, Father, that in your grace and mercy you have brought us to this precious understanding that Jesus alone is the only way to heaven and that no one but Jesus is able to open the door into your holy presence. 
Thank you for Jesus Christ. Bless us in the name of Jesus. Amen.